What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Tesla's semi-truck unveiling is right around the corner, scheduled to happen this month, and I had to make a quick update for you guys. We've got a couple rumors that have leaked about sp potential specs for the truck product. I wanted to go over those really quick and then highlight why I think this is such a big moment for Tesla as a company. The CEO of Ryder, who is one of the world's largest trucking operators, leaked, or sort of leaked, and basically it sounds like he was talking to Tesla. He said that the Tesla semi-truck is expected to have a range of about two to 300 miles, meaning it would be at the very short end of what people consider long haul distance trucking. Now, Morgan Stanley just came out with a note yesterday or today that said that they think the classic traditional diesel truck range of 600 to 700 miles is way out of Tesla's lead because the battery would simply need to be too heavy. And they're also thinking it's gonna be more in that 200 to 300 mile range. So if I had to guess based on these two sources, it looks like Tesla's truck is only gonna be able to do two to 300 miles, which is less than the diesel truck counterparts. But how are they gonna address this? Two potential ways. Either they build out a network of battery swapping infrastructure like they showed that they could for their cars and allow really fast rapid battery swaps to happen that would be just as fast as filling up the tank on a normal truck and that could extend the range so you could do, you know, 300 miles, do a swap, another 300 miles, and there you have your 600 mile trip. The other possibility is they radically upgrade their supercharging capabilities and allow for some new breakthrough technology that charges the batteries incredibly rapidly. This was suggested in, by a hyperchanger in the comments. I don't know how feasible it is, but I do know that Tesla hasn't updated their supercharger speed for like a year or two maybe. And so maybe they've just been holding that update out for when the semi truck launches, they could announce that all at once. And that would make sense because Elon Musk, in fact, at the shareholder meeting said there would be a surprise at the semi announcement that sounded pretty epic and my guess is that could be faster supercharging because then you'd be able to announce oh not only is the semi truck gonna have this wicked fast supercharging but we're gonna slowly upgrade every single supercharge in the world to now charge your car twice as fast so that would be really awesome but on a broader note I wanted to make this quick update I made a couple videos on the semi already this unveiling in September is not only gonna come with a massive order backlog it's not only gonna announce big name partners but it's gonna get people excited and understanding that Tesla is not just a car company they're not just a solar company this is a technology company that's leveraging its expertise and batteries to disrupt every facet of ground transportation on earth that's the company's goal that's exactly what we're seeing seeing them do with the semi here freight is a trillion dollar market Market. I think once the market sees the semi in person, sees how disruptive it is, sees that the world's trucking leading trucking operators are clamoring to get their hands on as many as they can buy, and the only question becomes, like the Model 3, how fast can Tesla build this thing? Then the market is going to get really excited and start pricing in the success of Tesla's freight network, and it's going to become a bigger and bigger and more important part of the bull thesis. Even on a broader note, this is why I love investing with CEOs like Elon Musk. The guy's brain is a nonstop innovation machine you have no idea what he's gonna come out with next that could drive incremental billions in value. Everybody's telling you this is a high-end electric car maker that's only selling toys. Well, guess what? If they do trucks, they're gonna be the company that's moving freight from the back end, legitimizing that their technology is not only the coolest, not only the most sustainable, but also the cheapest on an economic basis because that's the only way they're really gonna get these truck operators to switch is if they have a cheaper method of transport. And if you look at the master plan part to Elon Musk says very clearly, that it will not only re deliver a substantial reduction in the cost of cargo transport, but it will also make it much safer. We think we made a Moonshot Monday. I'm gonna link to in the description that goes more in depth about why we think this trucking product that Tesla's working on is gonna be so hyper disruptive and totally reinvent the entire logistics industry, take market share from rail and reinvigorate the entire trucking market. We're amped about where this is going. Like. I don't know, this is the most excited I've been about any Tesla event or product unveiling in years since the Model 3. To sum it up, that's HyperChange. Let me know what you guys think. I want all your ideas about what the semi-truck could be, who the partners are gonna be in the comments. Let me know. I'll be sure to make a recap episode when the semi-truck actually comes out. That's HyperChange. See you guys next time.